Hello everyone, I'm WebWonder and today we're going to play some Control. Um, this is actually my second attempt at recording this. Uh, I had done the first episode before and there were some background noises that I couldn't edit out. So I'm just redoing it so we can have a better audio. Um, Control is made by the same <coughs> excuse me, company that made Quantum Break. It's a, they're both uh, third person action adventure shooter games. Um, I know nothing about Control. Um, my girlfriend recommended it to me. She's getting into gaming and she got this game pretty cheap. She's been playing it. She loves it. She said I should give it a try. So I liked Quantum Break. I found out they were made by the same company so I figured I'd give it a try. Um, <clears throat> the continue game is from the previous attempt. Uh, so we're just going to completely disregard that and we're going to get underway. Uh, I'm going to mute myself because there's some cutscenes that play. Uh, I do like to listen to the cutscenes. I don't like to talk over them, and I don't like to talk over character dialogue. So, if I just randomly stop talking, that is why. All right, uh, let's get started. Fair warning. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that... I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like, we live in a room, and there's a poster on the wall. We stare at it, and we think that's the whole world. The room, and the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? Hello? Anyone here? All right, and we're in. <clears throat> um, so this game takes place in <laughs> the Federal Bureau of Control. Um, I don't know a whole lot about it, um, beyond the fact that that was weird. Um, that there's this weird entity called the Hiss throughout the build, <clears throat> throughout the entire building, and that you need to they like possess human beings and you have to fight them. Um, we're gonna get the means to fight them in just a minute. One thing this game has a lot of is collectibles, and I am very easily distracted, so I will probably check every room to see if there's any collectibles. If it gets to be too much, I'll probably just cut it out and you won't see too much of it. But like games like um, Breath of the Wild, I tend to get really distracted and just kind of... Legend of Zelda, Breath of the... Oh, hey, wait, what's that over there? Um, 
is kind of how I see that game. But I do get very distracted by collectibles, so I, I will <laughs> I will definitely be going after them for a bit. Oh, this door opens. This seal. I saw it a long time ago. I keep seeing it in my dreams. I don't remember if I got that the last time I tried this first half hour. First half hour. I'm only playing about a half hour so I can kind of break it down into a YouTube sized chunk. Sprint. Woo. Um, so yeah, this game was made by the same people who made Quantum Break. They both use very kind of dark color palettes. Why is there a broom? Shouldn't, shouldn't we have a mop? Like, what if somebody pisses on the floor? I don't understand. Um, so they both use very kind of dark color palettes. and It's not too vibrant. Like, the red is really pronounced here, though. I do like that for the carpet. Uh, I, uh, Federal Bureau of Control. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. Um, I feel like, and this is just my opinion, I don't kind of, I don't really study this thing, but I feel like they tone down the color so you can kind of focus more on the story, but not take too much away from the gameplay, because the game does look really well done, and I do like how everything looks, and like, even the little creases in the leather chair, and there's text on that paper that you can see. I enjoy it. And they do, as you play through, you'll see like these shapes you, uh, f show up on the screen. And it kind of, I don't, I'm not sure yet what it represents in this game, but in Quantum Break, it represented some form of power related to the powers that you get in that game. Um, so we'll have to wait and see what that's all about. Hello? I do wish one of my friends uh, was kind of in the party chat with me. He knows a lot more about like film and just like how things are portrayed on film so he'd be able to tell me more about like how things look and we could talk about why at, like the very beginning when the camera did that little upside down thing into coming up on Jesse. So maybe one of these days we'll get her get him into the chat. Sorry, just call you a her. Um, but for now it's gonna be me and you're kinda stuck with me. Hey, excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm Ahti, the janitor, by the way. You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they tell you are no element. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you mallet. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Ahti, the janitor, is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. No face. But that said, I know what you're thinking. If there's an axe murderer around, that's him. Wasn't I just here? Wait, what? What this? Wait, where the heck? Wait a minute. Hold on. Where the hell did I come from? Did the I just came from... Oh, that's trippy. Didn't I just come from this way? I feel like I just came from this way. I'm so confused. This game is very trippy. Oh, wait, there's stairs here that I never noticed before. Wait, wait, let me in. Oh, it's not stairs, it's the ladders. Is there anything in here? Nope. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait, I'm not ready yet. Yeah, I came up this way. That's trippy. I'm not sure I like that. 
this game kind of comes off as more of like a thriller type of game. Um, the cell. We'll see why in a little and bit. Poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? transition actually um, did I lose you there for a moment you know what's on my mind my baby brother Dylan 17 years since the men of this bureau took him okay can I, can I open this not yet right. it's in here oh There's an alarm going off. Okay. So maybe the hiss was something they contained in there. Okay. But you saw that um, at the end of that cutscene when we were transitioning back to gameplay that they had those kind of circular triangle thing going on. So maybe that's tied to some of the powers in the game. I'm not really sure. I What little I've played of this, I haven't actually gotten any powers. So I don't actually know. Other than the little push, but I haven't unlocked a push yet, so. Um, when I when I first saw it, I thought of the uh, Destiny 2 Warlock slap. I don't know if anybody else here besides me plays Destiny 2. Well, that's not good. Ooh, what's this over here? It's a collectible. That's not Pick good. Up? The murder weapon? Really? Now that's one thing I've noticed early on in this game and the couple playthroughs I've done is that I don't know who she's talking to right now. It seems like she's talking to us, like the player, but I, I really can't quite tell. He's very dead. Oh. <laughs> And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. first time I noticed that the gun looked like it was speaking to her. Like it was the board speaking to her directly through the gun. Um, I also noticed maybe the pyramid is tied to the evil or the, the sinister force going on around here. Which is kind of funny because oops. 
Um, in Destiny 2, another game that I play, which I play pretty frequently on stream, so uh, shameless plug here. Uh, I'm pretty frequently live on Web Wonder Gaming. Uh, you can follow my Twitter at NPC1014. Check out when I'm going live. Uh, okay, shameless plug over. But in Destiny 2, right now there's pyramid ships that are representative of the darkness, which is the quote-unquote evil race, um, well, evil entity that is appearing in Destiny right now. Um, there's a new DLC coming out for that later this fall, and there's the service weapon. All right, we're gonna do this again. The same gun. It looks larger now. Okay, now I have a gun. So I've played a lot of third-person shooters. Quantum Break is also a third-person shooter. Um, I've also played a lot of Anthem. Anthem was a good game. Uh, I just wish they did a little bit more with it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the whole Iron Man concept. I just wish they had done more with it. This game is... I really like this space. This is a really interesting... Like, it's an interesting concept of the astral plane. Please. Shot. Is there a cover system on this game? I'm going to punch you. You did. Hi. Ati knows something actually. I didn't think. Because I didn't listen to his other dialogue before. So I don't really. I didn't notice that he had more stuff to say. So I'm wondering if he knows something about. Oh, you got a gun. Put that down. That's not yours. That's not nice. I'm wondering if he's connected to the hiss or knows more about what's going on. Or he's more than just a janitor. I don't know. Maybe Ati's the one behind everything. You slide? No, you can't slide. Jump. I don't know what B does. Oh, I just walked right past the thing. Something's coming. This threat. An attack. Duty as director. Keep the bureau safe. Did you hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me, and it was just noise, and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. Happy to be here. There's a lot more going on. Down I was. Is it safe to go? Just about stepped on this man's body. Um, all right, so we have to head. Okay. One input I know I'm gonna mess up a lot is I usually press start for map, but that's not it. And I also press start for the character menu, which is actually select in this game. So that's gonna be. A little bit of adjusting because now I'm gonna go do this and then I'm gonna play Destiny later and I'm gonna be like trying to press okay nope we're gonna stay in the office where it's safe no 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 I don't want to deal with that that's that's not creepy at all all right you can't let this happen 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 You stopped it. <laughs> you... Oh, thank you. That was... Horror. No. Get the fuck away! So one thing Quantum Break did that was really kind of interesting was... 
they um they implemented like episodes as though it was a TV show into the game. So you play to a certain point. Oh my hell! I really sucked that up. Um, you play to a cer certain point, and you would get like you would unlock like a little TV scene, and it was really cool. And one thing I've I've noticed about this game is in some of the cutscenes you see some live action stuff going on, like that cutscene just there. The hotline. Secure line of communication. Guide us. Reach the hotline. The hotline, says the dead man. Okay. I don't know. They're not faceless, they have just glowing. My strift game is on point. Aim, not so much. There's someone else here. You're dead. I need the health really bad, I can't really. And everything? Oh. Okay. Oh, God, there's one. But there's a lot of live action integration in Quantum Break, and I'm noticing more and more that there's live action going on. And okay, that dude's really just up there floating. Cool! That's not terrifying. Wait, what? Why is that me? Who is that? Is that. I don't like that. That's creepy. I don't know if that was there before, but it's not going to be there now. Whispering is a little unsettling, not gonna lie. Anything over here? I didn't actually explore over here before. So I'm... That's really weird. I never noticed that before. That all the pictures change to you. Don't know if I should shoot him or not. I think I have to go this way? Yep, I do. Where are they gonna come from? Hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? Alright, it's our enemy. Babbles contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. I definitely want to learn a bit, a little bit more about the hiss, but I'm, well, like I said, it's so early in the game. We don't have a whole lot of a idea what's going on. All we know is that we became the director of the Bureau of Control. So now that's our thing. There's a lot of floating folks. There's a pyramid. Cover. Oh, that's not nice. No, no. Okay, 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 okay. okay. You don't see me. Oh, God. 
Okay, that didn't work. No, 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 no. Ah. the control point. What does that mean? Help me fix it. I don't have any powers. You sure do. Insane. So it seems like this symbol that you're seeing right now is tied to like Jesse and good powers, Please and then that talk to me. kind we of. We saw you deal with the compromised agents. Is there more dialogue? Because I've never actually waited this long to hear. Is it safe um, to come out? Okay, so she's just gonna keep talking. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, I'm Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit! You're the new director. Hold on, we're coming out. So how does everyone know I'm the new director? Director, Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. 
We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Alright, and that brings us to the end of part one. Um, I am going to definitely be playing more of this. This game is pretty interesting. I want to see kind of what turns up and what, like, just more information about the hiss in general. Um, for those of you watching this on YouTube after the fact, I mentioned already, but I stream on Twitch almost every day. I, uh, I stream on, um, oh lord, why are words hard? I stream a lot, uh, pretty frequently on Web Wonder Gaming, and I also tweet when I'm going live on Twitter pretty frequently. Uh, you can catch me on Twitter at, uh, NPC1014, um, hope to see you guys again, uh, have a great day, and stay safe during the